Hey guys, welcome. Technology failed me today. I was supposed to bring you live cooking video at four o'clock, but it happens to be just after four o'clock. So let's get cooking. Who's excited? I am. <laughs> Steven's in the background. There you go. I need an audience. Thank you. <laughs> All right. What we are doing today? We are actually going to show you how to cook some cutlets. Now the cutlets of a different variety, these are mushroom, not meat, not seafood, but vegan. Alright, so I have got oyster mushrooms over here. To that, I need some batter. So what I have done inside here, I have been waiting for the technology to come online again. So it is back online, so I have got a batter made of chickpea, rice flour, some salt, some pepper i'll put the recipe on anyway and then some little bit of uh, baking powder and then of course some water to create a thick batter now i am going to dunk some into this oil oil is ready what i'm going to do now this has been brushed or simply dunked into the batter and i'm going to lower it into the oil the oil needs to be roughly about uh, you know 180 degrees so it's not going to be uh, cooking vigorously but you can adjust it accordingly okay along the way apart from the oyster mushroom which is um, of course coming from the mushroom man at the Adelaide Central Market and that's where I go when I shop for mushrooms in my fur love my fur so along the way I also picked up some inoki inoki mushrooms always intrigues me because they look like little treetops don't they but you know what they can be eaten just as it is but what we are going to do today we're going to add it to the batter again so what i'm going to do now you just loosely bunch it up in your hands like this rotate it and roll it into the batter and then here it goes now who's getting hungry over there <laughs> I think Stephen's getting very hungry. Those of you who know Stephen who come to my shop at Shop 11 at Adelaide Central Market would know Stephen's the one front of the house. He looks after you. So here we have it. Okay, so let's try to turn them over. So they need to be something like golden. Yum, yum. That's golden. And then you can leave it in there a little bit longer as well. Now the reason why I have chosen gluten-free flour is because I have so many customers who request for gluten-free meal. Now this is so easy to put together for your dinner parties as a platter, etc. You really don't need much to it. You might just have a, a lime juice or some chili. So I've got some uh, my own product of chili over there. I've got some lime over here. You know, you just drizzle anything you want at the top of it. Or if you've got a vegan mayo uh, at home, and you could do that too. So here we have it. I think we're nearly ready. Oh my goodness. I have actually created some earlier. So you can see over here, I created some of them and they are nice and crunchy because of the texture from the rice flour. Okay, and basin, which is a chickpea flour, another name for uh, chickpea flour is basin, of course, and nice and nutty along the way. So let's remove them. Didn't take long at all. So here comes the inoki, looking like little treetops. And here comes the cutlet, looking lovely, but a vegetable cutlet, of course. And here comes the other one. Between myself, Stephen, and the camera crew, who is just my star, we are going to enjoy it with dunked with some chili and of course a little bit of lime. And I hope you also learn to make this recipe in no time at all. See you again next Saturday at four o'clock. Bye.